I'm Corey. This is Allie. And this is the Big Cheese, the head honcho, the big kahuna, Captain Bill. Together with our trusty sidekicks, LP and Jasper, we quit our jobs, sold everything, and set out on a journey in search for land's beginning. Follow us as we vibe with Mother Nature one day at a time. What's happening this morning? We're lifting the boat out of the water for the, seems like, 80th time. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't break. And then we're gonna have the bottom painted. So we're getting the boat all the way down to the gel coat, putting new epoxy primer on, and a new bottom paint. And this is all the stuff we have. We already packed most of the car, but loading up for a little vacation. The bottom paint shown in these clips was in pretty decent shape, however it'll only last us about one year. Since we are going to be doing some extensive sailing, we went with an alternative bottom paint which will last us at least three years. Always a little nerve wracking doing this. We met some new friends down here that are letting us use their space while our boat's on the hard. Every morning we drive down to the boat and get some work done, and in the afternoons we head back to the house and go for a swim to cool off. When we weren't in the water, Allie was making clothes and shell arrangements, I was designing shirts for our new online store, and Bill was polishing up on his knots and splices. We've got some good news and some not so good news. Good news is Pepe's done a great job at getting our holes down to the gel coat so that we can apply our epoxy primer. Bad news is when we went to go pick up our epoxy primer, only three out of the five gallons was there. So now we're trying to hunt down the other two or trying to source another two. In the meantime, Allie's over here Scraping off all the barnacles and worms off of our earth plate. Yummy. This Moonraker earth plate provides an electrical ground for our antenna, essentially making our VHF radio more efficient. The earth plate afterwards still looks nasty, but nothing like what it looked like before. Allie did a wonderful job. I just replaced our zipper on our sail bag. We've got the anti-fouling paint in. We have everything we need except for one to two gallons of the epoxy hey, primer that we need. Hey, Bill. Let's see how it goes. Well, we have a fun little road trip today. We're gonna head up to Tucson, Arizona or Nogales, maybe just the border, hopefully. Um, our courier was unable to deliver. We, they delivered three gallons of our uh, pr epoxy primer bottom paint, but they forgot two gallons. So now we have to drive up to either Tucson, Arizona, which is about a seven hour drive, or just Nogales on the border of Arizona. So we're right now, we're at the sixth auto rental place, renting a car. Uh, we're in our friend's car right now and we don't wanna have to drive their car too far. Um, so we're renting a car, driving up to hopefully Nogales, uh, which is about five and a half hours there, five and a half hours back. It's about 9.45 a.m. here, so hopefully be back around 9 p.m. But we've got a little road trip for ourselves today. through our 
five hour road trip. Ellie's at the helm. Oh. Bill's in the captain's co pilot yes. seat. Our mail. How's it going? There's a huge winery over here. Miles and miles of grapes. Grapes. pick up our stuff, and we're turn around and do five hours back. How's everyone doing? My butt hurts. We're still talking to each other. We're still talking to each other. Job's almost done. Got the new epoxy primer on, got the new anti-foul on. She's looking crisp with that new black bottom paint. Still got the tape on there. Still have to do the bottom of the keels and the tops of the rudders and the sail drives. But after our little road trip yesterday, we got more paint. She's looking nice. All right, so we're down here, just removing the old sail drive boots. And we were concerned that there's gonna be a lot of growth up in there, but there's really not much growth at all. It looks pretty good. We've got one of the sail drive boots or diaphragms or covers right here. We've got another one coming in the mail. Hopefully get that by this weekend. We have one more coat to do on the bottom. We moved all the stilts so we can do the primer on the spots where all the stilts were. Primer, two coats of that, a couple coats of bottom coat on there. One more bottom coat on the entire boat. We'll seek a flex the new diaphragms or boots on when we get them both. Right now we'll just prep these we're gonna have to watch a video or look up in the manual how to remove these gory folding props. Cause I don't think that it'll slip over the props. This one's busted already, but seems like a pretty tight fit. What do you think, Captain Bill? I don't think it's gonna slip over the prop. All right. So we're either gonna have to- Take off one or two. Yeah. And we have to undo the... Yeah, we'll, zinc anyway. we'll remove these zincs because these are toast. We have more of those. Oops. Remove the zincs. Replace these zincs. We might have to replace this one under here. I don't know if we have a replacement for this one under here, though. Zinc anodes are sacrificial pieces of metal that you place on your boat. This ensures the electrical current running through your boat and the water escapes through these anodes and corrodes them rather than more precious metals like your props, sail drives, and through holes. Shiny. What'd you say? Shiny as a honey? She just said nice and shiny. <laughs> Boys are hunting for a prop puller. We need that little piece right there. And we can't find it. Done this. And we need it to get the props off so we can change the anodes and so we can slip the new sail drive boot on. Place the anodes. We got a couple of them, one on the end here, this one and this big guy too. Pretty nasty. 
nasty. That's the old one, and this is the new one. Can you get me that little scraper over there? Clean this surface up a little bit. Using a little blue Loctite 242, 243, medium strength. Just make sure it stays in there, doesn't back out. Corey says it smells good. It does smell good. Sniffing glue. <laughs> it smells kind of like fruit a little bit. Mm. Smell it. Ooh, she poked. Up the hole with the little nipple. <laughs> and I don't know if it's necessary, but they can get there's a little wiggle room, so I just try and make sure that they're as centered as possible. And tighten her down. And I'll look in the instructions if I need to use the torque setting on this. Ooh. Just trying to match up the right head for this because I do not want to strip these out. There we go. If you're wondering what that background noise is. The melodies of a scraper. Two loose, two to go. Three. Four. All right. Those really concerned me, but that wasn't too bad. I need like a, is there a screwdriver or a flathead or something? Time for a new collar, pup. Here it goes. We're gonna have to clean these off pretty good. Just tap, tap a room. Tap, tap in. They're not horrible, but since we're out here, might as well change them. This is a rag. I think they call it a rag in Baltimore. A rig? A rig. Is that, is that in Baltimore? It's a rig. It's a, it's a, it's a wood rig. <laughs> so we love the previous owner of this boat because we just open up drawers and he has replacement spares for literally everything on this boat. In fact, he got zinc for somebody else's boat. <laughs> Like I said before, I've been designing some surf, sail, and good vibe ego conscious apparel. If you'd like to help us out, please go check it out and snag a shirt or a tote bag. 
Each tea is made out of four recycled plastic bottles and features fibers that are conducive to green living. All right, so we just replaced this zinc and the zinc here at the end. We do not have replacements for these, so we're gonna have to order some. They don't look horrible, they're a little pitted, but it's not like they're half gone or anything. This here piece of rubber has caused us some crazy problemos. We ordered the last two in the US and then our courier may or may not have misplaced them. We don't know what happened to them. We drove all the way up to the border to try and meet her to get them so that we could put them on before this paint job was finished. Then we came back and Corey, with his photographic memory, thought, I think I've seen one in the, in the garage of the boat. Miraculously, found one because Thank like you, we Ralph. said, Ralph is a hero and has everything. Just gotta look for it. So we found one and then we panic ordered another. We found they had one more left one in left. all of the US. <sighs> so we got that baby. Overnighted. Overnighted back to Debbie. We'll see if we get it this Saturday so we can do the other side. But she on there. Yeah, so we scuffed up the bottom of this with some 80 grit sandpaper, or the, I guess the surface, and scuffed up the bottom of the boat, cleaned that up real nice. I just wiped it both areas with some acetone to get any debris or oils off. And now we're about to use some Cicaflex 291, I believe. And I'm trying to debate if I should put it on both surfaces and then apply it, or just apply it to the boat, or just apply it to the boot. Not too sure. Doing a squiggly U. Got her all taped up. Nice and pretty. Maybe I should do a bead like all around the outer perimeter. Like I'd rather have more and have it squeeze out and clean that up than that's why I taped it off everywhere. Oh, squeeze out. The big squeeze. I'm just gonna get it up there in position. And then we can squeeze out and press it on real good. Push it good. Might never be able to get this thing off. Happy trees. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna run a single bead all around the edge just so we don't have that little step there so we'll just have a smoother transition and then we have more epoxy primer and more anti-foul that we'll can, can cover up around the rest of the stuff but pretty satisfied with that for being our first time so we're getting lifted up so we can paint the bottom of the keels 
That's... I don't have much room on either side. It's pretty close. It's a big day! Where are we headed, gang? Boat back in the water. The pond. The big pond. It's a big pond. Put that new paint job to work. Be sure to tune in next week as we tackle our steering problem, hoist Captain Bill 60 feet up the mast to replace our main halyard, and show you some of our favorite knots, whips, and splices. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And just like that, we're back in the water. Back in the water. Back in the water.